I'll admit, the last episode probably started weird, but I chopped off, like, the first seven minutes or so of the recording. Um, because I basically hadn't made any progress, like, at all. Not on recipes, just, I was just wandering around trying to figure out where exactly I needed to go in the Dark Forest, and realized, oh yeah, I had to go to the Dark Forest Part 2 eventually, to get where I needed to go. But we need to come back here and do this right now, because I really want to have access to the tea. It's very useful to have access to that, and it's useful to have access to this, so... If we can make the martini now, which I'm pretty sure we can, we should definitely make the refuel item. Because that'll let us do group healing, which, let's face it, is, is definitely, you know, useful. Like, not just, you know, in combat, but outside of it as well. Okay, cost down. It's fine. It's not like it's gonna get to keep either of these properties. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the martinis. It's kind of annoying. I don't even have one of those yet. Okay. I could put a holy evergreen in here. I mean, I can make tons of those, so it's fun. So far as I still need to make another martini. <sighs> we now have access to, to the group heal item, which is way better. Wide range, so allies can also be healed by this. Unlike the other medicines, which you can give a wide range to, but they're still single target during combat. Which is really damn annoying. So you can now finally heal ent the entire party with just a single item. During combat. Better. Just create a new item. Do you? Why? All kinds of different items. You have the power to control your own destiny. I don't revere it as a light mana, but I cannot do anything by myself. Well, that's not true. You have your own shop and incredible powers. I do have my own shop, but I still can't create anything like you can. If I could, I think I would choose a different life to live. Did something happen? No, well, it's just a little thing. It was so long ago. If you just made a new item, you should send it to Felt right away. Ah, uh, I suppose she might be one of the older manas around. And remember the good times. And the really bad times during a, a certain man's rise to power. Okay, I can put Nectar in there. Okay, synthesize. Because we can use this, I think, to get the cotton. Or whatever, which is used to make a certain outfit. So this is helpful to have. Plus we can use it on certain, you know, bushes and area. I like to harvest for items now, too. Mm, it smells delicious. It smells like grass to me. I don't want to drink it. This is a fairy drink. I don't think you should try it. I guess it can't be that bad for us. Eh, we'll try a little bit. And instantly regret it. Way too bitter. Yummy. Iris, you like this? Okay. You alright? Well, she is the reincarnation of the mother of all manas, so I guess she would be quite fine drinking just about anything. Don't try and drink what she drinks, it might kill you. I'm missing the other drink. I'm missing a lot of the items for that one. I still don't think I can make this, or did I finally get the lightning stone? Yeah, I did, okay. Okay, so if I put a comet gem in this, I could add the uh, properties that make this cheaper. Alchemy item. Um, where's that comet gem? Synthesize one more. Yep. Okay. Got it. Not that I really use lots of lightning rods, but having those properties in there does help. And we can put a gold or silver crowbar in here. Oh, 
so this will change it into what? Like an extra powerful uh, thunder bomb? Yep, the thunder rod. Okay. This wasn't what I wanted to make, but it is more powerful. Look out the thunder rod. I guess I'm gonna have to make another comet gem. Yeah, I'm almost out. Oh, yes, the slave dress. Do I even have the stuff for it? Oh, yeah, that's right. I need the desert flower, which I can only get, you know, by harvesting, you know, with the tea. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm gonna have to buy more uh, supplies, I suppose. But that would require me having cash. <laughs> As we established, I'm kinda broke. Uh, I don't even know what's worth making the basic lightning rod now. I mean, let's face it, am I ever going to use it? When I have the more powerful option. Why would I use the weaker, you know, uh, lightning, uh, lightning rod when I can use the thunder rod to hit people with, you know? Looks too small to work properly. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be okay. I'll let Fett use it to its full potential. Fett? Felt. Jeez. Though I did put someone's uh, really bad birthday gifts recently into a Boba Fett bag. Okay, I don't think I can make any of this other stuff. Some of these require items I can only find later. Some of them require, you know, stuff I don't have access to. Like, I'm pretty sure some of these, though, are only found by using the... Uh, the new tea set we just made. Okay. Let's see. How much can I make with the refuel? Monosynthesis. Oh, it only takes water? Okay. That makes that way easier. But I assume that means I can't make fairy tea now. Oh, it takes grass and the aroma element. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to be harvesting some more plants and stuff then. I mean, there is an area to go for aroma elements, so we got that advantage at least. Plus, I gotta try this out and see if I can find anything useful around here. I don't think I'm gonna find what I'm looking for in the, uh, gate area, though. But I'll try it. It couldn't hurt. What did we get? Oh, we did get what we wanted. Okay. So I can make a certain convenient item now. I really didn't need to harvest more of those, though. Well, I only really need it once. Okay. So I can come back in here and then harvest these for uh, more plants. Not the plants. I mean, unless I can sell those for a lot of money, it's probably not worth it. And a lot of the items you can pick up easily, the game doesn't really let you sell anyway. Because that would just be conferring way too much advantage to the player. Like, I'm honestly surprised they didn't catch the Holy Evergreen. Or it was left in there on purpose, I guess, maybe. They give you a way to make money to farm a certain shop. I don't know if it was necessary to do that, but they did it, maybe. Okay. Grab that. I don't think there's any bushes here, just uh, regular plants. Then we were able to farm forever ago, like even the Huffin. Which I really don't want to make any more of. Okay. So these are extra dense clusters, but once you use them, they're gone. 
Okay. Life element. I don't want to harvest the others because it'd be pointless. Like, they're going to give me 50, but I can only do it once. Oof. And I'm basically full on the other ones. Like, grass. Like, there'd be no point in taking wood element when you're at max already. I mean, if you're going to do something like that, at least make it worthwhile, you know? Because I can at least, you know, use the life element to make cores. You know, without having to, you know, buy manas. Which is helpful. Um, but I don't think we need anything else. No. Otherwise, we should be fine right now. We recharge most of the ones I care about. Besides metal. But, but that can wait until after we make this new item. I know, we're doing basically a make episode, apparently. Um, no, wrong recipe. Yeah, I can't make that yet either. I don't even know how to make one of the drinks there. But let's see. Okay, I can replace this out, huh? Will this change it? Nope. So I can just use that. Ice stone's slightly better on that front. So you can attack plus one. Honestly, I don't really care for any of those, but that's fine, I guess. This should end up with a cheap recipe. Oh, and gives me attack plus one, but you can't equip it. That's why I find annoying about the attack plus one options, is you can never seem to have put them onto any actual accessories. Yep, Uberus Pill. It's a miracle cure for whatever ails you. So basically, it's a better uh, cure jar. <laughs> but that's fine. I'm okay with a better cure jar. Though the fact it requires aroma to make kinda sucks, and lightning element seems a bit odd. And what was with the weird line there? And I guess that's meant to be twin snakes there, curling around the middle with the wings that represent the medical symbol. I guess maybe we should go harvest uh, some gravity crystals. That's arguably the best way to make money in this game, though you have to memorize where the various... Uh... Uh, gosh darn it. Ones you want to target are at. Okay, let's just go up here and grab this. That isn't going to be anywhere close to what I'm looking for. This isn't even the right way. Yeah, I smell the foundation of a lot of things, I'm sure. Uh, sorry, we need to go to the stone cave if we want to look for uh, what I'm talking about. Which is off the side of that church building. Yep. Come in here and get some more of this stuff. Stone always helps out a little bit. Um, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to have anything else in here. Yeah. And I don't know if I really care to go in there and look for gravity stones right now. Biggest annoyance is you got to remember which ones are the right ones to hit. Oof. Of course, you do it enough times, I sure you, I'm pretty sure you would remember it. The problem is they don't always respawn, either. So sometimes you can go in there and you can't find a damn thing. And that is a crying shame. Because who wants to spend time, you know, trying to explore something and then get told, Oh yeah, there's nothing here of value for you right now. Like, 
Come on, game. Don't upset me with that. No, there's a lot of stone elements we had real quick in here. No, I don't think any of those are it. Those are common uh, types of ore. We're looking for us. We found down here, I believe. Uh, these maybe. Yeah, that one and that one. Okay, those give you like moonstones. You can sell them, but they're not that useful. Yeah, we already read that. Okay. This just leads to where the mana's at, right? So, nothing I'm really looking for. They don't even put, like, super stone in here. More moonstones, I think. Yeah. Like, if I if I had some recipes that actually require them, maybe I'd be more impressed, but for most part, I don't need it. Okay, so we just want to harvest these ones. And then we can go make some gravity crystals that require just those as an item, and we can sell them off. But like I said, those don't always respawn when you come in and leave. And you gotta go through so much backtracking to to pull this one off, so it's not as fun a method of making money. Even if the like, gravity uh, crystals are more valuable individually than the holy evergreens. So it's an effective way to make cash, but... I don't know, I, I think the other method might be slightly faster, maybe even if they do any more trips. Ugh. Though that's based on memory, I can't remember the exact value of a... Uh, even half a dozen gravity crystals are off the top of my head right now. Soon I got the recipe for it. Because we might still be too early for me to make them. Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, it still requires huffing water. Okay. Let's go sell off our gravity crystals that we don't need. I might keep a couple, but for the most part, you know, we just need to sell them off. Well, let's see, what on earth is the price? Oh, I forgot to hand over the rainbow disc. Hmm. Is this an even trade? That's eh, fine. Rare stuff. Well, good luck with that. No sell. Let's see, where are they at in here? Oh, there they are. Yeah, 500 apiece. So these are highly valuable, but getting up to the maximum number takes a while. Okay. Well, Holy Evergreens are only worth 70. <laughs> okay. So they're worth, like, what? Seven of those? <laughs> okay. See, so if it's not as efficient, it's still better. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't mess with their equipment right now. And I guess I'll go to the temple and see if maybe we can learn a new recipe. I don't think we're going to have the opportunity to do so, though. And maybe we should go visit the shops and see if there's any jobs to be had. But I don't think that one kid's going to have anything for us. Guess we can talk to him, though. Uh... Yeah... Embodies his insanity, yeah, that's not really what embodies, man. If you want to know more, you should go to the Historical Society. Just saying, it makes them stronger. Um, yeah. Pretty sure we already hit up this place. There's nothing else to be had. I'm pretty sure we already went to the Historical Society, so that's why the lights are on now. 
At least I assume they're a hunt. Of course, the building itself's right here. Yep. But we did forget to open this bad boy up. Okay, we now make the blue bracer. Okay. Hmm. Yes, Protector V is shrine in Mammoth Forest. Hmm. So there's another asset that caused the disaster. Yeah. Got that. Yeah, yeah she's real, alright. Yeah, I know. Doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Guess I'll go visit this guy's shop real quick. I don't think he's gonna have anything for me, though. Ah. Uh, how is he doing? Have they now? Something big, huh? Huge deal, but I'm not sure what I want to go through with it. Martini. Ten. Well, you want to make a huge deal, right? This is your big chance. Yeah, I'll get him for you. A weather report, huh? Dark Lightning Cloud? Okay. Take some wax. I really don't need any of that stuff. I own a ton of it. Problem is I can't remember the stuff I need to make the Monotinis right now, much less make ten of them. Something tells me I'm not going to have the stuff. But we did agree to do a job, so... We should get on it, but first I'll check out these new recipes. Oh, I need a Comet Gem again. Okay. Gotta make a ton of those, man. Pendulock. Not what I'm looking for. God, say. Eh? We'll have to have another demon ring. Okay. Does she sell red wine? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she does. So we're gonna need uh, like ten of them. I am not the biggest fan of uh, doing that, but okay. Uh, where is that? Uh, she doesn't have it. I'm gonna have to switch back to the other side to go buy the booze. Uh, that's weird. But it is what it is, I suppose. Um, switch. We need to go buy some bows! So we can complete a deal. A big deal. Because I know if we go to, uh, the city, there'll definitely be alcohol. Let's just find the right, right way out of here. Okay, went the wrong way. Uh, should have used a fear bottle. That's whatever. <gasps> Let's begin. After all, these guys are much easier to deal with. Take Thunder Rod. Let's see what this can do. Oh, it does like a double attack. Okay, but still about as powerful as a Terra Flame is directly. So it doesn't seem that impressive. Ah, uh, made the wrong turn at Albuquerque again. Gosh darn it. Like, I'm in a hurry and now I can't find the right way. Who's my opponent? 
someone weak and boring. Okay. Head slam, eh? Um, switch out. Prepare to die. Nine Zex Claw. Good night forever. Yep, low cost skill. Oh, Tina, my lord. It gets a ton of hits. Easily making one of the scariest skills in the game. Because multi hit attacks, you know, you gotta worry about the about the the damage of excessive blows. No, that's not the right way. Or maybe it is, because there's no other option I can think of right now. <laughs> Definitely should activate the fear bottle, though. Okay, it was the right way. And we're in a new area, technically, now. Okay. Just use it. Please get rid of any encounters. I guess I'll use mana to synthesize this. Just make me some pendulums real quick. Um, use. Yes. Yeah, it's completed. I thought it would be, considering we explored all our options. There's just not that much to really do that's tricky here. Unlike some other areas. But yeah. I want to go get the red wine. Ugh, I guess I should have bought more when I was in uh, that one village. At least we can quick skip to where we want to go after this, right? Because we also can find some in uh, everyone's favorite uh, village here. And a point to switch back with, so that's good. Oh no, a cutscene! Who, who are you? I'm Mitsu! Did you forget me already? Oh, yeah, he's Mitsu. like that. I, of course, you're Mitsu! Where do I know you from? You really get hit, man. I thought about it a lot, and my answer is yes! Yes? To what? To our marriage, silly! <laughs> when did you oh, ever go around proposing for marriage? You're such a ladies' fairy, Poe. Man. <laughs> I, I never even had the time to propose! <laughs> oh, yes, you did! You said, let's get married! In such a passionate and manly tone. This can't be true! Yeah, he really should have practiced somewhere more private. Don't worry about it, Poe. She's probably mixed you up with some other fairy. Happens all the time. Just marry her. Are you nuts? Hey, this is the best you'll ever get, Poe. Right. She's really the only one. Trust me. No! You're so cruel! But so right. According to custom, our wedding ceremony will be held at the Dark Spring. Please come back after the preparation ritual. Preparation ritual? In Zweedle, the groom must enter the cave and bring proof of his love back to his bride. That is known as the Groom's Trial. Yep. You're in trouble now, Poe. <laughs> Got that right. I'll wait for you at the Dark Spring. Please come by as soon as possible, Poe. Well, <laughs> I'll be important later. You're way too deep in it now, Poe. Ugh. Okay. Was it here I can buy the booze? Yeah. Oh, no. 
this isn't where I want to show up. Yeah, she's only got mana. They're valuable, but uh, not what I'm in the market for right now. Uh, oh, she has silver water, not red wine. Gosh darn it. I guess we shouldn't have stopped here, because it really adds to the time of this episode. Okay, next time I guess we'll finish the big deal for a Vise. Oh, I can't go to Roosevelt right now. Gosh darn it. Just want to get some booze, man. Everyone's got to make it complicated. Ugh, I can't even remember if you can even buy that stuff here. Oh, whatever. Till next time, then. See ya.